everyone welcome back to my show my name is midwife sally on this show we talk about pregnancy labor and delivery yes so recently i had one of my videos go so viral and a lot of you wanted more okay so those it was in chi a lot of you said oh midwife sally i'm in nigeria i'm even Ghanaian. i don't speak chi so why so today we are here to do the same topic in english yes and the topic is sex doing pregnancy yes so sex doing pregnancy we are going straight to the point in 15 10 15 minutes we should be done yes so i have with me here midwife sabina nurse sabina she works at termagena hospital but posted to the nabita hospital i hope that is correct yes yeah, okay correct, but not yet a midwife not yet a midwife a community health nurse community precise. health nurse okay that's great so it's a prophecy she'll become a midwife <laughs> Let's see if it works. You are welcome. Thank you very much. Wow. I'm glad to have you here. The pleasure is all mine. Yes. Yeah, so your, your, um, your video went viral. A lot of people saw it. How was it feeling like? Actually, I'm not so kind of social media, but the first time I had calls, people calling me. When did you go on social media? I was like, ah, who sent me there? Because I have not been there myself. So I watched the video myself and I realized <laughs> I was really on top. I was really, I was really doing more. Okay, yes. okay, okay. It was the feeling was nice. At yes. least for once, people appreciate you for what you do. Yes. Some of us even don't work behind closed doors, but I think I was happy. Okay. To see myself there. <laughs> That's good. And did you realize that um, it, it it also tells a lot. It also shows that you have a potential that maybe you are underutilizing, or you didn't get that feeling. Mm, actually, I know that myself. I know I am. And I'm utilizing myself, I know. But you know, the system that we are in, you need to be under somebody before you can come up. So, let's say for now, I am under my superior. So, until they tell me to come out, I cannot come out fully. Wow. Yes. So, you know, what, what she's saying is uh, interesting, okay? So, a lot of people out there, like her, are thinking like she is. But what I would say is that what, if, what, if, whatever you are doing, if it is the right thing, you don't need permission. So stop waiting for somebody to come and give you permission because nobody will ever give you permission. Me, I won't give you permission. <laughs> because of course, maybe I would always want to be on top, like midwife Sally, midwife Sally. Okay, so nobody will give you the permission. You have to take the permission by yourself and then go out there and then shine. Yes, oh, okay. so just... I'll, I'll, I'll take the advice. Nobody will give you permission. God has advice given you... Taking all the potentials everything we have platforms and all that so I, I would use myself as an example that nobody gave me the permission you understand, understand. you have the potential so go out there and shine I yes will. so from after that we'll talk so let's okay. go back into the topic yes so sex doing pregnancy um <laughs> i remember i posted one of the videos about sex doing pregnancy and my husband was like you are not serious is that what you are not you are not doing what you are preaching <laughs> so when he sees the when he sees the video he will just pass <laughs> you can see that Sally is not doing what she's preaching yeah so but i want us so it is not the fact that we are posting doesn't mean that maybe we are perfect or we do everything that we say okay exactly. but exactly. let's talk about it sex doing pregnancy it, 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 is it so important yes it is important you know i'll speak as from the aspect of a man you know, when women get pregnant, they have that conception, that perception that they don't need to get closer to the woman until the woman has put into bed. Some of them are, should I say, uncalled for. Medically, it might not be okay for a particular woman. We don't generalize it for every woman. But in some women, in some cases, sex during pregnancy is the best thing for them. That will wow. ease their labor pains. Because, you know, as a midwife, you know how the service is like. And you know that the birth canal, which you call the vagina, is the only way for the baby to come out. Okay. So if the place is tight all of time, definitely doing labor, there are going to be pains. A little pain. and In fact, not just a little, severe pains. You know, you need to enjoy labor pains. The pains that comes in labor, it's not anything to be afraid of. It is a feeling that every, I pray that every man goes through it. Because it gives you the sense of belongingness as a mother. It gives you that urge as a mother. When you go through the labor pains so you okay. need to enjoy it okay so before we go further let let me ask so a woman who has whose husband is not there 
and she may not be able to have sex till delivery, does she have an alternative? Oh yes. What can she do? To she also just have to exercise well. You need to exercise and also take in the right fruit. You know, some of the fruits gives labor easily, makes labor easily, like pineapple. Makes labor easy. So, coconut juice also makes labor easy. So when they are getting close to delivery, coconut to juice, juice, pineapple, pineapple. Yes. It okay. also and then the exercise. exercise. Okay, so it will affect easily. the yes. vagina and yes. all that. Yes. Yes. So sex would help the pregnant woman to have to some extent an easy labor. And if your husband is not there, as you said, exercise. Size. Fruits. fruits and all that yes so we have balanced yes the yeah, equation. Balanced equation yes so now let's go into um the sex in the woman's perspective why do you think women avoid sex during pregnancy actually some women avoid sex during pregnancy because of some of the should i say pregnancy hormones you know somebody will not just get up and say i don't want sex even though i'm pregnant but sometimes hormonal changes makes them avoid you, you, you can't tell. Inwardly, the woman might be feeling for sex, but the hormonal change of preg during pregnancy makes, him, makes her avoid sex. Okay. Yes. So in that case, what can she do to help herself and how can her husband also I normally her? tell my mothers that everything that we feel is in the mind. Okay. Everything that we feel, anger, happiness, excitement, even the desire for sex, Comes from the mind. It doesn't come from the waist. As people assume that all your words, you know, it doesn't come from the waist. It starts from the mind. So in order to appreciate your partner, you know, some if you feel like that as a woman, as pregnancy hormones as it made you feel, also think of your partner. What is he going to feel? Is he going to feel okay with it? Because I know my men don't actually sometimes don't become okay with it, especially okay. when they are the losing end. So it's like you should. You should um, know, you should understand that your partner is still your partner and will still, still have a desire. Yes. And you tune your mind that no matter what, you, you would need want to, to meet the desire. If medically it's no, it's a different case. But if medically has not said anything, medicine has not said anything, if your doctor has not said anything, then you can't say because I don't feel like having it, I shouldn't have. Mm. It's in the mind. Everything is in the mind. It's in the mind. Yes. So women work on your mind. Yeah, so I remember to add up to what you said, I remember there was a man who told the wife that you are pregnant, but I am not pregnant. My hormones have not changed. It's the same. So it's like but we as women we think that when we once we are pregnant they have to get it in their head that we are pregnant. <laughs> you know that, that is one true. thing about pregnancy. That is one aspect about pregnancy. Pregnancy goes a long way. That is how we have something called prenatal. Something you need to prepare before it. Prenatal. Mm. Prepare them. The whole family must be prepared. The man has to be prepared. The woman has to be prepared before pregnancy sets in. Now, if you go through this and pregnancy sets in, you get to balance the equation halfway to meet each other's demands. But if you don't go through it and the antenatal happens, then it's like you're fighting to meet each other's way. Okay. But ideally, you're supposed to go to three nature. You need to prepare yourself for, for the pregnancy. pregnancy. Yes. And preparing yourself, it also includes psychologically, um, emotionally, physically, financially. Life, everything. Everything, okay. everything comes in. Okay. So if you go through that, you are just definitely when you get to the antenatal because you've learned about it during the prenatal. It might happen. So if it should happen, how do you adjust it to meet the other one's demand? Okay, okay, so yes, I get that. Yeah, so let's go into another aspect of um, the sex during pregnancy. Yes, some believe that when they have sex during pregnancy, the men, they are going to harm the babies. Is there anything like that? And there's nothing like that. And the women also, some will say that I'll get a miscarriage. You know, there are some points in time in pregnancy that you don't need sex frequently, especially during the first trimester. But if you are okay, because unless you are pregnant, you've never given birth before, then you can escape that. But it is not; it doesn't cut across with all women. So you have to know yourself. Self, that that will also get known when you do the prenatal. That you got to know the body and the do's and don'ts of the body. So it is not every pregnant woman that can have sex frequently during the first trimester of pregnancy. I mean, the first three months. Some may have it and escape it. But some will have it and will get miscarried. So there's fear, yes. 
I sometimes I agree with them some way, but until proven medically, you cannot say I will have it. Okay, so what are some of the medical conditions that will let a doctor tell a woman that don't have sex? Actually, it depends. I, I, I don't normally generalize everything. Sometimes you might have BP, but I may also have BP, but my system will fit enough for me to have sex. But your system may not be fit enough for you. Okay, okay. You might have previous history of miscarriages. I might have previous history of miscarriages, but my system will be strong enough to contain it. But yours may not be. So it's individual differences. It's individual, depending it's in on what your doctor tells you. Yes, okay. it's individual. So you cannot yes. generalize for everybody. Okay, okay. So moms, you have to work with your doctor, with your midwife. But I know say, people with, let's say, um, complete previa, like a placenta is low lying and you can bleed. I'm sure your doctor will say, definitely, avoid for that, it. Or definitely. maybe you have weak service. Yes. Yes. But in all that, you have to consult your doctor. Consult yes. your doctor. Yes. Can people have sex throughout their pregnancy till they deliver? Oh yes, if medically fit, you can. You can. Definitely, you can even enjoy even more. You can even enjoy even more. What even do when you you're mean not pregnant. by? You know that the, 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 the woman's body is, is it's it's anatomy anatomy of surprise on its own, different okay. stages and different feelings. Okay. So sometimes. When you become pregnant, you become more your, your hormones for sex becomes more higher than when you're not pregnant. And really? Oh yes. Wow. Oh yes. I know I, I had about three, four clients who weren't fun of sex. But when I got pregnant, hell no. It, the hell broke loose. But the husband was like, Are you sure it's my wife? Because things are getting out of hand. The one that used to run away from me. It's not even coming closer. That so, is pregnancy. So, okay, so it comes to the point that some people's libido go high exactly. during pregnancy. Yes. And some too, they come low. Exactly. So it depends on... It depends on... It's not a side. It's individual differences. Okay. So you just have to work to meet each other halfway. Okay. So if the libido is low, you, the woman, has to put yourself in a place where the man can meet you halfway. And if it's high too, you, the man, need to... When having sex, really sex, you don't be in one position for a very long time. In order to add dynamics and rhythm to the sex that you have, you know, that also play part in sex. You don't be at one position for a very long time. You keep changing. So the, the, the steps I give or the positions I give are just platform for you know that you can do this for a short time, then you change. You don't do that for the whole thing because exactly a man will not have to lie at the back all the time for, let's say, if the man can go five minutes or ten minutes for the whole ten minutes. Definitely, you need rhythm. You need to spice up your sex life. Then, uh, then maybe a lot of um, people do not know all these rhythms you are talking about because it's like, once I'm lying down, I'm lying down. No, 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 no. You, you need to, you need to spice up. That is how I'm saying. When during pregnancy, you can have it even more fun, because initially you're having a flat tummy, but now you're having a ball up there, and that even can serve as a, a, a kind of, should I say? A, a moral support for the, you, the woman, or the man to caress to and care, enhance the, 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 the sex drive. Okay. So it's not lying at the back for a very long time. It's just here for about two or three minutes, then you change. Because remember, as you change, it's also a form of exercise. So you'll be having sex, but also exercise at the same time. Oh, okay. Definitely when you're in labor, you're not going to turn sideways. You're going to be either squatting, squatting or on the, on on the back knees. sitting. So definitely, oh, that. Wow. It's, so it's also a you, you realize, so it means that even these sex positions are to some extent related to your labor uh, positions. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. So that's nice. Okay, so now let's go into the positions. So what sex position is safe for a pregnant woman? Actually, so we don't have a dummy. Even the dummy people were against it. They were like, <laughs> why are you using a little baby? <laughs> Please, we are sorry for that, okay? It wasn't intentional. <laughs> we didn't have an alternative. Yeah. And nobody wanted to volunteer him. So you realize I asked the man to come, but he didn't want to come. Okay. Because of mentality, but I understand. Yes. You see, we have, as I call, how deep is your love? It is not every man. Would you want us to stand or something? Oh. Oh, you do you okay? really? I'm okay. It's not every man that derives the pleasure of having you, the woman's leg, on their shoulders. It's not every man. To explain how deep is your love, it is one out of thousands who like you, the lady, put, they always want to be the, the other way around. Let them put their legs on you rather. So when in that position, you are asking the man how deep is his love for you. Is this something, is it a picture we can get online so that we will insert? Actually, oh. I don't know. <laughs> 
Okay, we'll search. I, I, we'll I, I, I have to search on that because okay. I don't know where I got my names from. I don't know where I got. So it's your from. own names. It's it's somehow my own names. Yes. Oh, okay. Somehow <laughs> I, I named That's them nice. because. So describe it because we are trying to imagine. You, what the woman saying. lies on the back, with the legs, tense halfway, placed on the shoulders of the man. Okay. So you lie on the back. You support your head a little with the pillow. You can't lie flat because if you need to see the face of the pattern, it's also building connection. So your head a little bit lifted upwards, then your legs are the shoulders. You tilt it to the shoulders. Then automatically, as I said, the vagina will come out. The moment the legs is tilted halfway, the vagina will come out. Okay. So the man gets the full arena of the vagina. So if a man standing, the man standing, the man can squat. Sitting? The man can squat. He can. It depends on the size of the bed or where it is being played. If it is played on a tabletop, definitely the man is going to stand. Okay. And if it's played on the bed. Is either going to squat or kneel before you? Okay. It depends on where the, the where the, the game is taking place okay. or where the sex is taking place. Okay. So the legs on the shoulders, not in front, but at the side, giving shifting the, the, the pelvis halfway. As I said, it's also a form of exercise. So it can be here, then you turn to this side. Okay. Just uh, like that, the left shoulder or the right shoulder, you'll be alternating bit by bit want. the way you want it for some a minute. Let's say a minute, a, a minute or two. So it doesn't. It keep doesn't long. last for no. It doesn't keep long, because so it's as not you said, too much to cause fainting. No, 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 That's what let's explain. No, no, no. Okay. It's not too much to cause fainting. We, we. So, I think well understood. We can go to the. So next. now that is how deep is your love. Now the second one we call it the spooning, okay. or the role play. Role play or spooning. Role okay. play or spooning. I named it the role play, because we are all playing a role in it. Okay. And the, the, we call out there they call it the spooning. So the woman lies down, with the legs. The knees up a little with the hands covering the, the stomach so you lie on the side as, as if you are, you are sleeping you don't want any disturbances so they lie down on, on the side. side okay uh-huh so you're, you're, the legs up a little you have the chance to cover your stomach with your hands or caress your stomach with your hands then automatically the vagina will come out the moment your legs is up the vagina will come out ready for penetration so the man is at your back at the back Okay. The man is also lies behind you at the back, caressing the baby together with you. Okay, so it's that's a the communication. Role play. That is the role play. So you are okay. playing a role. Let's say if you, you want to talk to your baby and you want to have sex at the same time, both of you can talk, do the talking, and having sex at the same time. Hey. Oh yes. <laughs> but you know, you know, it's, it's that is how spicy it becomes okay. when pregnancy. When you are not pregnant, it's just the woman, you and the woman, having their spooning or the role play. But this time, there's a third party. So you get to communicate enough even with the baby, even forgetting that you're having sex. Okay, okay, that's nice. Then you so take it from the, the back. Play. That is the role play. Okay. Now then the famous doggy style. The doggy style? Yes. It's advisable for pregnant women. Oh yes, you can also have a lab, lab, it's also a form of labor positioning when you want to have the yeah. baby. Yes. So just like the, the four-legged animal, both hands on the floor, then the knees on the floor. Okay. Then you take it, the man take it from the back, gently from the back. Wow, and the so lady the, the, is comfortable. The, the, automatically, I know it's also an exercise position because it helps to open the pelvis. You can even have it. You can even have a little uh, as the, the style is going on. You can bring your leg up a little as a form of exercising, lifting the leg up, down. Then change the legs. So in front, it's like aerobics. So you'll be having sex at the same time, exercise at the same time. Okay, okay. So one as if you are bent, let's say if this they are your legs, and the man is taking it from the man is taking it from the back. As you get tired with the kneeling, one leg come up, stretch a little, okay. then come up, then stretch a little, then come up. So even though you're having sex, at the same time you're having exercise. Wow. So wow. as the, the leg goes back, you can also balance with the hand in front. So it's two things in one. Wow. That's and as read them to it. Yeah, so uh, was it three? Or yes, we, did, we you, talked about we three. We talked about three. Yes. Okay, that's, we that's, about that's three. perfectly Great. We'll be talking okay. about the next three on the tenth of December. On the tenth of December. Exactly. We have, <laughs> Hopefully, we have next I'll, of December. I'll try and see that tenth of December. In my mind, is like there's something to there. But then we'll try. We'll try. I'll try and capture it. I know you love her videos. You want to see more of her. And I've reminded her she needs no permission from anyone. God has given her <laughs> all the permission, and I give you the permission. You are looking Thank for you. it, right? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so. Go out there and shine. Yeah, so what are you telling the mothers out there? Maybe there's a man who has never touched their wife. There's a woman who has never allowed their partner to touch her. What do you tell them? Actually, if medically I say again, 
you have no cause for alarm. Please, I know pregnancy comes with a lot of changes. I know we go through a lot as women during pregnancy. And sometimes even the men gets, we get, we, we, when we see them, we are pissed off. It is an emotional change in pregnancy. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. You are not far from the truth either. But sometimes we need to work halfway to meet our men. You know, most men end up going out because of the same kickoff. Okay. You get to drive, I, I'm, I'm not ready for sex, I'm in pain, I, I, I don't want to have sex. And they get pissed off and they go out. No woman wants the man to have a side chick. Yeah. But some men get to have it because they feel their partners wouldn't be safe enough to have them for sex. Hey, the, 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 a pregnant woman's vagina is different from the normal vagina. Try it and you see. The men, <laughs> don't feel shy of the tummy. You put it there. It is for you. Get to communicate with it. There is this funny joke that the man never wants to have sex with the wife and the wife always uses a dummy to satisfy herself because she, she, she got to that stage where she needs it all the time. You know, as I was saying yeah. before. And when the man finally wanted to have it, the, the baby couldn't recognize the man's penis because all along it has been dummy. That is, the, the baby has been seen. It's like, well, that, that is what is presumed. So when he saw the penis, the baby just kicked the penis out because I don't know you. <laughs> Meanwhile, that was the owner of the vagina. So mm. please, let us not be afraid. Follow them to answer. Some of the women will tell you the doctor says I shouldn't have. Meanwhile, the doctor has not said anything. So if you want the best for your home, follow them to Antinator. Ask questions. Let them explain to you the do's and don'ts. Then you get to understand. We want every man to come on board in pregnancy. Don't just leave it for the women. Enjoy pregnancy as well so that Father's Day will also be celebrated as it's been celebrated for mothers. <laughs> okay. Thank you, very much. Thank you. I really enjoyed this segment and I hope you have also enjoyed it. Her name is Midwife. Ness Sabina, your Community sending. health Ness Sabina. Community health Ness Sabina in on Kroma. TikTok. So you can look for her on TikTok. You're only on TikTok yes, for I'm now. Yes, I'm only on TikTok for now. So community health Ness. I think uh, we, 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 we are going to help her to change the name so that it will be easier <laughs> for people to find her. It's all part of branding. Yes, yeah, so thank you so much for coming. In case you want to have her in your hospital to speak about anything antenatal anything cwc community health nursing like a public health nurse that kind of yeah that is their area okay you can you can always invite her yes just send us a message and we'll send you her contacts and you can have access to her thank you so much for coming thank you very much for having me okay bye bye bye